Welcome back and welcome to a new week. Should be a nice one out there with mainly sunny skies in place. Cool afternoons and chilly nights ahead. We'll talk about that plus break down the numbers here in just a little bit. But first, taking a look at the bigger picture here across the lower 48 and the upper low. We've been tracking the last couple of days that brought in the cloud cover this weekend and the scattered showers this morning. Finally starting to push off to our east with dry air starting to work in on the back side. So our rain chances coming down and we're looking at a pretty quiet and cool start to the week. So certainly that's the good news. Now we had the showers out there this morning in response to that upper level feature, but the bulk of that activity started to push out of here through the course of the afternoon. We were left with lingering cloud cover, but now clear skies across the Cadiana and that's the way it's going to remain here through the rest of the night as temperatures continue to fall mainly in the mid 40s. We're at 45 in Opelousas, 47 in Jennings, 46 degrees out towards Lake Charles and 45 degrees here in Lafayette. Dew point sitting pretty comfortably in the 40s and a little bit of a wind out there. They'll be turning out of the north a little bit later on tonight, so that'll help to give us a little bit of a wind chill by tomorrow morning, but really nothing dramatic or anything like that. But nonetheless, pretty cold start for your Monday morning. Northern parishes starting out mainly in the upper 30s, right around 40 degrees here along the I-10 corridor and similar story along the coastal parishes as well. So jackets certainly needed out the door tomorrow morning. And after that cold start, we'll warm it up to near 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon. A lot of sunshine out there. And we're looking at a pretty uh, another cold start here for Tuesday morning with low temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 30s across the Cadiana and then plenty of sunshine expected once again for your Tuesday afternoon with high temperatures topping out a tad warmer in the mid 60s. So here's the rest of the week. We'll see high pressure settling in across the area here and that's going to be giving away uh, to some pretty nice conditions out there at least through midweek with plenty of sunshine expected. And then by Thursday that high pressure will start to work off a little bit to our east. So more of a southerly flow will start to get established here across Acadiana. So a little bit warmer conditions for your Thursday afternoon, but really still not going to be too bad out there with those highs settling into the lower 70s. And then by Friday, we'll be watching our next low pressure system approaching from the west here, and that'll help to give us a pretty decent chance to see some scattered showers, perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm for Friday afternoon into Friday evening. But again, timing could still change here. So of course, we'll see how the pattern evolves uh, here over the next couple of days. But at least at this point, it does appear we should start to clear out in time for next Saturday with partly cloudy conditions starting to rebuild back into the area. So cold night ahead here across Acadiana. We'll see temperatures falling back into the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees with clear skies out there. And again, with a little bit of a northerly wind by tomorrow morning. Wind chills across all of Acadiana will mainly be in the mid to upper 30s and a pretty nice start to the week tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine out there. High temperatures topping out right around 60 degrees. Breezy at times will have a north northwesterly wind at around 6 to 12 miles per hour, but really nice day to start out the week. Here's the next 10 days. Plenty of sunshine expected through at least midweek with high temperatures mainly topping out in the 60s. Those overnight lows in the 30s and 40s and we'll see a gradual warm up by the latter half of the week into Thursday and Friday with high temperatures settling into the lower 70s. Clouds and showers start to build into Friday ahead of our next front. But again, all things considered after a pretty cloudy weekend here across the area, not much to complain about weather wise.